California. The Iranian regime is a danger to international security and democratic order everywhere. The regime has funded terrorism across the Middle East for years, enabling groups like Hamas to attack Israel and commit other atrocities. And the Iran regime doesn't stop with supporting regional terrorism. It commits its own atrocities, consistently and brutally cracking down on its own citizens, fighting for basic freedoms. If all that weren't enough, the Iran regime further refuses to abandon its pursuit of nuclear weapons, putting the world at risk. Challenges like these require Congress to make policy that meets the moment. But we can only do that if members of Congress and the people we represent can do oversight and can fully understand our administration's policy toward Iran. Americans will benefit from more information on how our nation is approaching preventing Iran from developing a nuclear weapon and ending Iran's support for terrorist networks. Congress will also benefit from this information so that we can better legislate on Iran consistent with the security interests and the values of the United States. Under President Obama's administration, the United States government issued periodic reports on its evolving policy in Syria. This set a model for the executive branch sharing information with lawmakers and the public regarding United States foreign policy toward countries of concern. In Congress, we know that the details of our nation's Iran policy are complex and they are fluid. But precedent exists for our administration to provide a more complete window into its foreign policy object objectives in specific countries. This bipartisan amendment would commission a detailed report on United States policy with regard to Iran, with regard to human rights, nuclear proliferation, the ballistic missile program, and regional terrorism. Look, we don't need talking heads force-feeding us conclusions about this administration's Iran policy. Let's get an oversight report about what that policy is and let everyone draw their own conclusions. And then the lawmakers on both sides of the aisle can better make policy that addresses the challenges we face operating from a shared platform of information. Let's trust the American people and each other with information. I urge my colleagues to support this bipartisan amendment. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentlewoman reserves. Uh, for what purpose? Does any, no. member? Does any member wish to claim time in opposition? Seeing none. Seeing none. The gentlewoman from California is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield back. Gentlewoman yields. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentlewoman from California.